I fancy myself a prideful northerner. I'm a Jersey boy. I'm always going to be a Jersey boy. And I take pride in saying and knowing that. But I just saw something. The Dixie Chicks. A group that I don't particularly care too much about. I can't say I've ever <laughs> deliberately listened to their music. And plenty of fans of theirs out there, and that's fine. But the Dixie Chicks have just changed their name. They are just now known as The Chicks. I don't know, and I don't care what the reason is behind changing this name, because I just saw this, I'm just like, where does this stop? Because you, you just had the, the group Lady Antebellum change their name, because Antebellum is a, a type of architecture in the South that, I, I, I don't know, somehow equates to slavery times. I don't know. Whatever that is, I don't care either. But the whole thing of like, like something that connotates to the South and taking pride in that right now is a bad thing. Like, don't, like, don't get me wrong. Like, like, you know, like hanging a noose as a joke and saying like, this is what used to hang from trees in the South in, in the civil rights era. Like, like, okay. Yeah. That's taking it a bit too far. Taking pride in something like that is a bit too far. But just even being associated with the word Dixie, by the way, Dixie Cups, you got to go. Come on. Dixie Cups got to go. Change that name. Let's go. And what I'm getting at here is either everything that connotates to something bad or evil that this country despises, either it's all bad or we just deal with it and deal with a few people that want to celebrate some of the most asinine logics and whatever. I look back at the country being formed in 1776 and I see the American flag and all that because people want to point to the Confederate flag and say, well, that's a symbol of slavery. A symbol of states that wanted to keep slavery legal. But yet when America was founded in 1776, you know, they made the flag and all and Last I checked, there was slavery here in America. And this is like the, the, the thing that the North wants to go, shh, 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 shh. No, 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 look down there. Look at the South. Look at the South. Shh, 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 shh. People act like slavery and slave states like only existed south of the Mason-Dixon line. I mean, there were some states that were completely free. States like, like Pennsylvania, most of New England. But thank you, Quakers, for Pennsylvania. But, um... A lot of the New England states were free states, pretty much the second the, the Constitution was put into effect. But you had states like New York and New Jersey that were slave states at 1776 and up to the turn of the century. They didn't come become free states till around the turn of the century. So you had decades worth of slavery. And uh, am I to believe that like no mistreatment of slaves or was like, like slaves weren't whipped in the North. That only happened in the South. Like segregation. That was, that was the South. The, the segregation only existed in the South. Uh, my, 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 my point here is, is it, it it's okay to idolize someone like George Washington, uh, Thomas Jefferson, who is a well-known slave owner. And all these people that ruled the country where not just southern states were enslaving human beings, but northern states were as well. That segregation was rampant and accepted on their watch, and they didn't do much to change it. Women's rights? What, what is women's rights in the 1700s? Huh? Those presidents that ruled in the 1700s, those northern good guy presidents, they didn't do anything to change it. Shit didn't really start to change, didn't really start to take massive change. There was always rumbles of changes in, in, in Senate and some presidencies before Abraham Lincoln, but shit really didn't start getting put into the real change column till Lincoln came along. That's not to say people before him didn't try, it's just success. Success versus trying, completely different things. But... Like, that's the thing, like, oh, okay, 
you know, the Confederacy was founded because they wanted to stand up against the North for, for telling them what to do. They just wanted to be their own country. They wanted to keep slaves. They wanted to rule as they saw fit. Well, okay, America was founded in the Stars and Stripes. We're, we're founded on a country that had slavery everywhere from end to end. <laughs> like, that, that, like, like, that's the whole thing. It's like, okay, I get that. People are going to say, oh, Archfiend, calm down. Slavery was so much worse, so much more rampant. I don't care. Slavery is slavery whether it was mild or maximum in the, in the amount of just harmful factors. Enslaving a human being, either they're, they're a slave working in your house, just cleaning the house, or working in a plantation field, I really don't care. Slavery is, a, is slavery is slavery. Yes, one degree is worse than the other. I get that. But just owning a human being, period, as your own that they got kidnapped from their homeland from is bad in any way, shape, or form. And it's like, oh, we have to take down all these southern general statues and stuff like that, which, uh, to be fair, the southern general statues that I... I have no problem being taken down was, was, is the ones that were put up in the Jim Crow era. The ones that were erected to incite rage in the black communities there. Like there was some that were actually put up to say like, yo, this was a, this was time. This was, this was a symbol of the Southern past where we had you guys in check. You better recognize. Like I, I, I understand the like, situations like that when a statue is put up to intimidate society, but it's like, you can't take pride now in being from Dixie? Like, that's how far it's gotten? And again, I'm just devil's advocating this whole thing and saying, well, then why should you take pride in supporting General Washington, a guy that went on to rule a country that had slavery and he had no problem with it, that had no women's rights and he had no problem with it, that had segregation and he had no problem with it. Or maybe he had a problem with it and he sure didn't voice it out from the top of the mountains or try to do anything about it. But it's like, ah, oh, no, the Confederacy, they were standing up against America and or standing up against the northern uh, United States of America and them telling them what to do. So they're bad. But we can have the Thomas Jefferson statue. I mean, just, oh, don't, don't worry about all the slaves he owned. He was a good guy, you know? Right? Why? Why? What do I know? Anyway, I just, it, it, it's just a shame because being from the South is such this bastard thing to be. Like, yeah, they all get painted as red Republican boogeymen and all. All that shit, and I get it that they're, they're the slow states and stuff like that. But it's like, man, if you just keep looking down on them and treating them like they can't accept their heritage to the point that being called or referred to as Dixie, like that's not acceptable. All I'm getting at is... This is the wrong direction for things to go to this far of an extreme. Yes, there should be aspects of the South that change that I feel personally. But man, it's getting to the point where don't take pride in being from the South. What are you, crazy? You can't take pride in being from the South. That's nuts. There's people that take pride in being from Dallas, Texas, and they're okay with it, so why can't you be? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, I don't know. This is just this is just crazy. Like 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 society would have outraged in any way, shape, or form that the Dixie Chicks were still called the Dixie Chicks, and or again, I, I I don't care what the reason is. I don't care whether they willingly wanted to do it because they felt it connotated a wrong thought of the South. Sorry, I think of the South. I think of some damn good barbecue. I think of like visions of church that looks fun. <laughs> I think of a place that sells kick-ass fireworks. Like I think of things like that. Like last I checked, 
They don't have any slaves there. So they vote majority Republican. Oh, well, they're voting with their free will. Damn them. Anyway. What do you guys think? Is is this getting just way out of hand? Or is it going to get to the point that more people are going to be like, you know what, that guy's making a good point about George Washington and him ruling over a country that accepted slavery, was not having women's rights, had segregation everywhere. So we got to stop accepting George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and all those statues. They got to come down too. Or why don't they? Because they're good guys. I don't know. Why, why, why is their heritage not as damned as the South's heritage? Again, I know people can argue that, well, things got just so bad. But again, slavery is slavery, period. I can get that things got way out of hand. The number of mistreatment of slaves in the South, et cetera, et cetera, deaths, whatever statistic you want to throw out there, I, 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 I get it. You could say that things just got way worse. They deserve more scrutiny. But bottom line is slavery was from North to South, and it wasn't just the South of the Mason-Dixon line thing. Anyway, just my two cents on it. That is all.